SpaceX undoubtedly has to be the most exciting company of the 21st century, not because of its reusable rockets, but because of the fact that SpaceX is also using additive manufacturing, which is a fancy term for 3D printing. Designing a rocket engine is no easy task, which is why space travel has always been very expensive, but that is not the only reason it is expensive. The primary reason was that every rocket was rated for single use, meaning once it's launched, you cannot reuse it, and this problem is what SpaceX is trying to solve with their reusable rockets. Today, SpaceX is offering a lot more affordable rocket launches than ever before. At the same time, they're making a lot of profit doing these launches. But for it to be more profitable, SpaceX needs to find a way to make these rockets cost-effective. The answer to that problem will be 3D printing or additive manufacturing. SpaceX is a company with an excellent track record of proving that anything is possible. The company was the first private company to launch an orbital rocket and the first organization in history to land a huge first-stage rocket upright on a barge in the middle of the ocean. Rocket engines are expensive and rockets do explode, which is a very common thing in the aerospace industry. But because these are very expensive, the companies that deal with the rocket technology will have to suffer a lot of losses. But to mitigate those losses, 3D printing technology is what companies like SpaceX use so that the cost of manufacturing these rockets can be a lot lower, which means that the company will not have to face a lot of loss when developing a new rocket for a specific purpose. You might think this to be a very small thing, but that is not true, because if the rocket engines are affordable, this means that we will have all kinds of rocket test launches moving forward, and there will be a lot more space exploration programs by SpaceX that will be better for humanity as a whole, because most technologies that we take for granted today comes from the research and development that was required for space travel. Yes, you heard that right. Traditionally, rocket engines were made using trial and error methods, but using 3D print technology instead of building so many distinct components, the entire structures can be 3D printed in a matter of days. Rocket engines generate energy that is equivalent to detonating a ton of TNT every second, directing that energy into an exhaust that reaches temperatures well over 3000 degrees Celsius. The engines that could handle this kind of power take at least three years for engineers to build from scratch, and most of these processes deal with redesign, rebuild, refire, and repeat. So yes, building rocket engines are very complex. To put things into perspective, the Saturn V-S F1 engines that were responsible for putting Neil Armstrong onto the surface of the moon way back in 1969 had about 5,600 manufactured parts, and most of these parts were sourced from different suppliers, and they had to be individually welded or bolted together by hand, and this is a very time-consuming process. If the Saturn V's F1 engines were built using 3D printing technology, the 5,600 parts that were mentioned earlier would be just reduced to 40. So, you could say that 3D printing did bring about a new age of fast, responsible rocket engine development. If SpaceX wants to get things done really fast, traditional manufacturing methods will be an absolute waste of time and resources. This is not the 1960s anymore. Things are getting better with 3D technology, so space companies are moving away from subtractive manufacturing processes, which remove material to shape a part, to additive manufacturing processes that build up a part by adding material to it little by little. Well, that's exactly what 3D printing is all about. 3D printing reduces the manufacturer's time and effort to create a prototype so that more time can be spent on research and product design. 3D printing is also extremely accurate, and it gets you things with great precision, something that is very much required for something as complex as a rocket engine. 3D printed products also do not have to go through the time-consuming process of finishing the product because of the accuracy. The method is also very cost-effective, and it can be applied across so many industries. This way, production can match up the speed of demand, which is exactly why SpaceX is using 3D printing for the rocket. 3D printing also reduces a lot of waste, so there is no requirement of reducing, reusing and recycling the waste materials every now and then. SpaceX is increasingly using 3D printing to produce its rockets to optimize manufacturing processes and produce parts that are impossible with conventional manufacturing methods. SpaceX is also famous for being a champion of vertical integration. This means that they're bringing in raw material at one end of the factory and a fully manufactured rocket comes out from the other end. Additive 
manufacturing allows the implementation of vertical integration much better. Instead of having a complex mold that needs to be manufactured, additive manufacturing eliminates so many issues that are faced with traditional manufacturing processes. So with additive manufacturing, SpaceX can design and manufacture complex metal parts in their own factory without having to outsource individual parts to other suppliers. This way, SpaceX will be able to reduce cost, control intellectual property, and will also be able to ensure strict quality control and reduce the overall time of production. SpaceX is also continuously experimenting with 3D printing technology and perfecting the techniques that are required to develop and manufacture flight-ready hardware. With the kind of innovation that SpaceX is doing at their factories, there's no wonder that this happens to be the first company to embrace additive manufacturing as a major part of its production at a large scale. So how exactly is SpaceX using 3D printing? Well, SpaceX is making use of direct metal laser sintering, and this type of additive manufacturing works by laying down thin layers of metal powder in a heated chamber. A laser then traces out the 2D cross-section of that part. The laser brings the temperature of the powder above its melting point, and the metal melts. The next layer is then added on top, and the process is repeated, thus sintering each layer to the previous one. These layers are also run through different cooling cycles. SpaceX's Super Draco rockets are designed primarily as emergency launch escape rockets. In an unlikely event where the first stage of the rocket fails explosively, these rockets need to accelerate the crew capsule with an incredible thrust of about 120,000 pounds in order to safely escape the blast. The engine chamber of the Super Draco was 3D printed out of Inconel, which happens to be a super alloy that is used in the aerospace industry for high-stress parts. The component was put through a variety of tests, such as multiple starts, high temperature, and extended firing durations, just to name a few. After these tests were successful, the engine chamber was then made ready to be used on a Draco 2 capsule rated for human flight. Now, way back in 2014, one of the Falcon 9 rockets, Merlin 1D engines, contained a 3D printed main oxidizer valve body that was successfully tested. The component was able to withstand cryogenic temperature, excessive pressures, and high vibrations. The best part is that the component was manufactured within just two days, which happens to be a record time when you compare it to the two month cycle with a traditional mold making casting. After so many tests, this particular part was approved to replace cast parts on all all Falcon 9 rockets. Even NASA is extremely optimistic about 3D printing technology, so much so that NASA's Rapid Analysis and Manufacturing Propulsion Technology project happens to be their own project that deals with the development of additive manufacturing techniques to 3D print rocket engine parts using metal powders and lasers. This method is called blown powder directed energy deposition, and this could bring down costs and lead times for producing large complex components like nozzles and combustion chambers. This means that NASA could do large-scale manufacturing with 3D printing technology, which is really good to keep up with the pace at which our technology is improving, and also to reignite the interest in space travel. With NASA's project, the printing method injects metal powder into a laser-heated pool of molten metal or melt pool. The blown powder nozzle and laser optics are neatly integrated into the print head. This print head is attached to a robot and moves in a pattern determined by a computer, building a single layer at a time. The fabrication method does have so many advantages, which include the ability to produce very large prices and the only limitation would be the size of the 3D printer. This method can also be used to print complex parts, including engine nozzles with internal coolant channels. Rocket engine nozzles that contain internal coolant channels run cryogenic propellant through the channels to keep the nozzle at safe temperatures. Traditional manufacturing processes will take a lot of time to manufacture these nozzles, and the blown powder directed energy deposition additive manufacturing allows NASA to create very large-scale components with complex internal features that were not previously possible. The best part about all this is that NASA will be able to save a lot of time and costs associated with the fabrication of channel cooled nozzles and other critical rocket components. So you get it, building rockets is not cheap, especially for private space companies like SpaceX. New rocket companies and space exploration startups will be adopting 3D metal printing technology because it does accelerate their development phase and it will help them survive the crucial years before they get anything into space. We're still waiting for the entire rocket, including its engine, to be 3D printed in one piece, but we think that still will take a lot of time.
SpaceX is a company that is willing to adopt new technology, and they will go to any extent to show what they are capable of. By using 3D printing technology, SpaceX will change everything about rocket manufacturing, and soon other industries will follow SpaceX's path of manufacturing using 3D printing technology. When the 3D printing technology matures, you can see more applications for this technology, and right now SpaceX happens to have one of the most influential applications of 3D printing technology, and the future of the aerospace industry looks really bright.